Hey guys, uh, Tony from Team Divine Pro here, uh, coming at you guys with a little Wage War segment, kind of. Um, yeah, these are just cards I picked out from the pile I had with me on hand. So, Wage Wars, uh, right now, at the moment, um, the game is kind of changing. So, like, last year, uh, if you paid attention to the Japanese format, it was mainly, like, Big Three were, like, Rewrite, Disgaea, and, like, uh, I don't know, Milky Holmes or something. But this year, it's seeming, for the past three tournaments in 2013, it's appeared to be um, Axel World, Rewrite. Rewrite, I guess, is just amazing. I haven't played the deck. This Gaia and, like, uh, like Sword Art Online comes to mind. But really, in all general reality, it's not really because of the cards or, like, the deck. It's just how hype it's been. And, like, in all reality, it's just the anime in with something like Wei Schwartz, it's when you climax. Because if you climax, say you're about to like die, you climax everything, and then you have a chance to come back. So it, Wei Schwartz is more of a game where you can win if you climax at the right time. If you climax at your level ones, you're just gonna you're pretty you're almost guaranteed to be minus in the end, and you might be uh, suffering. So you might have to push back harder at the very end against your opponent. So yeah, pretty much that's that's how Way Schwartz is played. It's it's more it's I wouldn't say it's more of luck. It's just the fact that you need more like you need to understand your deck more. You, it's kind of like for like uh, anybody who plays Carpet Vanguard OTT, you need to count your triggers and everything, so you need to know your stack. That's pretty much how Way Schwartz is. Like if you have to check your uh, waiting room and you realize that you don't have any more tri like uh, uh, climaxes and you know that you're not gonna survive next round. The best move would be to make like to try to get rid of that whole entire deck and refresh it because a good player would know to refresh his deck and to use cards like that would check the top four to put them into the waiting room and to uh, if he sees like he's checked a climax that he wants to try to put it back into the waiting room right away so that he can refresh it next time so it's pretty much those type of thing those type of plays that help you and in the next little while I'll make like a video segment on how to do that on how to on what would be a good way to improve your game in a way on way Schwartz and yeah so guys hope you enjoy this tiny little segment i've been just put together really quickly on way Schwartz and uh, i hope you guys will stay tuned for my little following segment on tutorials and my tips i've picked up on how to play the game and apart from that this has been tony from team divine pro signing off